hello friends welcome to c sharp space today in this video session we will discuss about how to add areas in uh, asp.net core mec so let's start we open our visual studio and here we creating a project uh, for asp.net core so i'm getting here a choose for a asp.net core a web app Here it says .NET Core Web Applications. And here, uh, I rename it. It's a uh, area cookie. Area uh, core. And click on OK. Uh, after this, this uh, uh, opening a pop up for uh, choosing a template. Here we choose a template as a MVC. It's a border view controller. Then select it and then click on ok now it's uh, creating a project for a uh, uh, core applications for area example uh, so the project is created so i'm going to this solution explorer and uh, first of all we need to check uh, in a startup.cs file so if you have uh, uh, selecting a is a MVC template so by default uh, this uh, is service dot add MVC is already added under this uh, configure services method and so uh, for adding areas and uh, providing a route for that uh, we need to add uh, one more map route uh, inside this app dot use MVC uh, this is the by default map root for uh, uh, this controller and X method and we need to also add a uh, one more map root for adding uh, areas so I am writing this it's a uh, routes dot map root it's uh, area root and then it's an area exist it's a area exist slash uh, it's a controller controller like uh, you can provide any name like uh, uh, firstly I am adding uh, this uh, admin then slash its area name after that uh, controller name and after that we writing a uh, action name action is equal to like uh, index slash uh, if any id uh, this id is optional we provide uh, any query string for that like uh, id and this is a question mark after that so semicolon after that uh, opening this uh, solution explorer and here I am adding a new folder for uh, areas uh, by default this uh, not provide a area folder as like a uh, MVC is so here we need to manually add areas so it's add new folder so areas And here after that um, I am adding a uh, one more for uh, admin so uh, for manually this uh, uh, copying all this uh, folder controller model and view inside the admin folder so I am adding a uh, one more folder for uh, admin controller it's uh, admin I 
and then simply paste these three folders for here you can uh, also manually create these three folders so model view and controller now this uh, controller model and view folder is created so simply I delete this for adding a controller uh, for admin no need for this as per your requirement you can add your models view and controllers this is the shared folder so you can uh, add here a layout for your admin now I am adding a uh, one more controller for uh, admin yeah, I am adding this uh, basic controller it's uh, admin controller and click on add now this uh, adding a controller for a uh, admin and we need to also add a uh, one more folder for this uh, admin controller uh, where we can add a uh, views for this so i am adding here it's a uh, view so by default this is the index method so i am creating here a uh, one more view for index setting so a new then click on mbc view page is a index dot css table so added here uh, so this uh, admin uh, uh, th this index method uh, index view page is uh, created so for changing i am here like a uh, it's a uh, admin index and i also change this uh, shared for differentiate from a uh, home layout so i am adding like here this h1 tag it's area admin now uh, we go to our this admin controller and here uh, we provide a area name like uh, here my area name is uh, admin now uh, we run this application i'm pressing a uh, control f5 for uh, run this application without a uh, debugging now application is run by default this uh, call a home index method so for calling a, a method inside uh, areas uh, so first of all i am writing this uh, area name its area then writing a controller name after that writing a index for action method now so this is a layout for a uh, admin areas and this is a action method so uh, if you want to change uh, means adding a uh, more controller uh, in an uh, area so uh, simply you can add here like uh, i am adding one more controller here so uh, on the controller sections uh, you can add a uh, means you can changing your uh, controller name so i am adding here it's a uh, new it's mbc controller and here i am changing a uh, controller name uh, like a push controller then after that i'm clicking this add now this uh, adding a uh, one more controller inside this uh, controller folder and same like this uh, we need to add one more uh, folder for this uh, push controller so i'm adding uh, one more folder for a post and same this uh, index method i am copy from this admin to this post and i am changing this uh, like a 
it's a post index index so same thing perform for uh, this post controller here i am writing a uh, area name it's a uh, area uh, our area name is admin save this so now we again run this application now it's a uh, building this uh, project and now build is succeeded so uh, where we writing uh, this uh, admin controller we change this uh, for a post so i am choosing this and here this is the controller name so i'll change this this uh, for a post so this showing a post index uh, for this URL. So this is all the process for how to add areas in ASP.NET Core. So if you have any questions, any queries, please write in a comment box. I will reply you soon. So if you like my videos, please click on subscribe button and getting a latest update. Also click on a notification bell. So thanks. Thanks for watching. We will meet in next video session.